introduction of Yunani system of medicine and its uniqueness. Uh, the outlook of my presentation, I have made something like, first we will try to understand this introduction to Yunani medicine, followed by some of the fundamentals of Yunani medicine, where we will be try to understand something about the introduction to Yunani medicine, and followed by some fundamentals of the Yunani medicine, like every medical science, they have their own potential, uh, Molika Siddhantas, like what we have, the Umuri Tabaya, Asbabi Siddha Zaruriya, Tabaya, very few things I have inculcated, beyond that there are so many things, which because of the paucity of the term, we are trying to cover this. Later, we will try to understand the concept of health and disease in Yunani medicine and uh, the diagnostic methods, the procedure through which how we will be knowing about the existence of disease from the physiological to pathological condition. And the most important part of every system of medicine is the principles and methods of treatment. Like what treatment uh, Yunani system of medicine will be having and how what is the principle lies behind the treatment of Yunani medicine. And at most, the more major part of my discussion will be about the uniqueness of Yunani medicine. Maybe some of the things may be overlapped with other uh, alternative system of medicine which is existing in India or maybe ab abroad. But to the best of my understanding from my part, I have brought some of the things as a uniqueness of the Yunani medicine. So dear friends, uh, as this uh, Yunani system of medicine, it is an integral part of Ayush system of medicine in India, like we know that government of India came out of with a separate ministry called as Ministry of Ayush. This is, stands for an acronym for the Ayurveda, Yoga, Naturopathy, Yunani, Siddha, Swarikpa and Homeopathy. So, Yunani is one of the integral part of the Ayush system of medicine in the India, which is recognized by the ministry and undertaken by. If you look at this uh, as a part of the continuation of introduction to Yunani system of medicine, Basically, the system of medicine is originated in the ancient Greece. Uh, there is a place called as Yunan, that is Ionian for the Greek people. From there, it is originated somewhere in the ancient period, some long, the thousands of years of back. And the, these are the people, Asclepius, Epitocles, Plato, Aristotle, are these are the people, are the philosophers of the Greek, based upon their teachings, later. Hippocrates made some of the thing as the theoretical understanding of the disease by just ignoring uh, the superstitious condition to whom we contemplated as the cause of the disease. I mean to say, based upon the uh, pre-Socratic philosophers of the Greek like Asclepius, Empedocles, Plato, Aristotle in theories, Hippocrates came out of with a new concept of medicine which truly lies on some, there is a cause and relationship of the disease that is the reason we believe that Hippocrates is the father of medicine. From his teaching only the science of Yunani medicine came into existence. Later some of the other physicians like the Squaridus, who contributed a lot uh, with reference to the pharmacology of Yunani followed by Rufus who enlightened so many things about the understanding of the disease and treatment. After the Greek physicians we have one of the renowned personality from the Roman part of the physician is the Galen who were lived somewhere between the 1st to 2nd AD. Uh, he is the one who contributed a lot about understanding the anatomy and physiology. Apart from that, he explained several importance of the adiviyat, the what is called the drugs, and he refined some of the theories of the Hippocrates that were executed for the practical use. So the beginning of Yunani medicine started from the ancient Greek, followed by some of the people who contributed for the development of the science by the Roman, like a gallant, Lateral, it spreads to the, uh, uh, the countries of Arab and Persian nations where Rabat Dabri, Razi, Avicenna, Al Khasim Zuhrawi, Ibn Betar, like these are the people of Arab and Persian nations. They have developed this science, inculcating the, con the contemporary medical sciences into the science of Yunani medicine. With this point, I can say these are the Arab and the Persian physician. They have learned so many things from the contemporary medical sciences of those days. They included into their uh, compendiums outcome. Finally, they made this Yunani science as a globally acceptable with some of the evidence-based things like that. Later, it, it is introduced into India by the Arabs and Persian people in, in India somewhere in the 8th and 9th century, where uh, some of the rulers of the Indian provincial governments, they took this, they picked the system based upon its 
outcome and its uh, uh, effectiveness. Some kingdoms like the Sultans of Delhi, Khilji, Tughlaq, Mughal people, and there is one particular family called, called as Khandani Sharifi in the northern part of the India. They have contributed a lot to promote uh, to practice this system of medicine in, in India. Uh, out of these several people, I would like to throw some light upon Mr. Hakim Ajmal Khan, who is a Masyur Mulk also. He is a patriot and a freedom fighter and Hakim. Uh, because of his contribution to the Yunani system of medicine only, past seven years, government of India came out of uh, the 7th, 11th February as a part of the birth anniversary of Hakim Ajmal Khan. This National Yunani Day has been declared. So, to commemorate his contribution to the development or promotion of Yunani system of medicine in India. This Yunani day is being celebrated throughout the India as well as abroad also. And as a part of this Yunani day celebration only today, I am addressing you people about the introduction of Yunani and its importance. So uh, here, these are the people to whom we have, they have contributed to the science of Yunani medicine. If you come to the part of the fundamentals of the Yunani, the Molika, the basis of Yunani system of medicine, uh, I, I have just emphasizing on three important points. That is the Umure Tabaya. There are seven uh, physical factors are there, followed by Azba Vesitta Zaruriya. There are six essential prerequisites are there, which is there with the human body always throughout the life. And finally, there is one Tabiya that is called as nature. The, for this Greek people at the in the classical physiology, it was called as medicatrix nature. All these things are along with some sub-categorized faculties of powers are there. They together make the human body functioning properly. So these are the three major fundamental parts of the Yunani system which we try to understand. Uh, as a part, if you look at this Umure Tabaya, the primary component of the fundamentals of Yunani medicine, this Umure Tabaya is a purely Arabic term which stands for Umur means certain factors, Tabaya means physical factors. These physical factors may not be the substitute, exact substitute of a Latin term. The near understanding of this Umure Tabaya, according to the Yunani philosophy, the science, uh, every human being is being regulated. The principles related to human biologies are surrounded with seven natural factors that make up the totality of the human beings. As a result, the seven natural factors or the physical factors are the first one what we believe are the arcan that could be considered as the nearest Latin term as the elements. Uh, maybe my Ayurvedic brothers uh, probably they believe it like the Bhutas, like Pancha Bhutas are there. It seems to be. And the second important umur of this Yunani system of medicine is the Mizaj. Temperament is supposed to be the literal translation for the Latin word. Uh, I believe it's supposed to be Prakriti according to Ayurvedic science, it seems to be. And the most important point upon which the Yunani system of medicine play a very pivotal role are the concept of Akhlad, that is the humors, the body fluids. Uh, maybe it, uh, it's something like we can collate with to the doshas of according to Ayurveda system of medicine. Beyond these three, the other four important umur are the factors of Yunani medicine, what we believe there are certain organs followed by some ru that is pneuma is there and this ru try to uh, uh, initiate the faculties of certain bodily organs as a result different functions will carry out in the body so these are the seven physical factors and the natural factors with where the yunani people pay much attention and these are the seven factors which are responsible for the human biology which makes that human body totality to function let us try to understand one each together. Arkan, the nearest uh, terminology, suppose we can consider as an element, because in the history, if you look at the Greek philosophy, arkans are something like the base, very basic bodies, or roots, or the origins. Uh, Aristotle is the one who gave it arkan as a term element. Uh, these are the primordial substances which carry certain qualities are there. According to Yunani, or the Yunani theories of science, Yunani science theories are based upon four arcans are there. That is, the center of all these uh, arcans are the earth, the uh, earth upon which we have water, 
upon which we have air and the the most uppermost part of this elemental is fire it means ag hawa pani mitti this is a chronological order from about downwards so unani believe that every the, in the cosmos in the universe almost all the living and non living beings are created with the uh, reactions and the actions of these are as a amalgamation of one or other elements so called the arkan so as a whole every arkan rug will be having one quality that could be either as a hard dry wet or cold sometimes it is a combination of hard dry hot wet cold dry and cold wet so these are the four elements uh, that the greek philosophers strongly believed about it the second most important fundamental aspect of the unani system of medicine that more is the mizaj mizaj is as i have mentioned is the nearest terminology maybe it is a temperament some people also call it as a constitution also there are different different versions are there but nearest understandable point is temperament seems to be and the, what i believe according to ayurveda it seems to be the prakriti it is defined as an admixture of a different element basically this mizaj will came into an existence when different elements there are admixture and as a result their qualities in a specific ratio there will be a one particular kind of mizaj will arises and these mizaj will be there for in all the living and non living beings also and based upon the concept of this mizaj based upon the concept of the mizaj zoology in the unani system of medicine the human beings and the personalities of the human beings have been categorized to four like damavi mizaj balgavi mizaj safravi mizaj and saudavi mizaj and the unani system pay much attention to the mizaj of the patient mizaj of the disease and selection of the drug based upon the mizaj to treat certain conditions also and the third important uh, fundamental principle of unani system of medicine that more is the akhlaq akhlaq are nothing but the body fluids in the body there are different fluids are there out of which hippocrate uh, believe that there are particular colored body fluids are there based upon the color he gave it different name the red color fluid is called as the blood white is the phlegm black is the sauda that is the uh, melancholy and yellow is the uh, the choleric so he believed that there are different there are so many body fluids are there particularly these four colored body fluids are called as the akhlaq uh, that can be literally considered as a humors and the existence of humor in their normal quality and quantity will represents the individual health and the disease condition and uh, likewise based upon this akhlaq arkan and miz- mizaj that uh, personality types and traits are also being defined uh some uh, unani physician they have also explained the existence of these four different fluids or the akhlaq in the body suppose we collect the blood after a venous section or phlebotomy take in the test tube leave it for some time if you try to put the test tube in some hot water probably at end of some time you will be find different color layered colors are there the most sedimented part of this test tube will be the black color above which will be have a different color and over which will have a yellow or the white color all these four colors represents the four colored body fluids which are which called as the blood phlegm black bile and yellow bile so this hypothesis explains that this hypothesis proved by means of this small experimentation that in human body the body fluids are only four colored one and four colored body fluids are given as a dam balgam safra soda and accordingly their dominance and their what is called as the quantitative quality to derangement can leads to abnormality of the human body the fourth umur of the human body is the aza aza means there is an organs uh, we uh, unani physicians unani scientists they categorize the body organs into two that is a simple organ we call it as a aza basic or aza mufarra the single or simple organs and in contrast to that there are different compound organs are there so two types of organs are there in the human body if you look at the simple organs here here i have brought around 10 major simple organs beyond this there are three other ones are also there that like is bone gazruf cartilage nerve asab with root tendon rabat is the ligament shriyan is the artery veins are the vein ghishar the membranes laham is the muscle 
Shaham is the fat. Most of the physicians, they believe these are the 10 simple organs. Beyond that also, there are three other uh, substances are there like nail, hair and some other things are there. So, to, go to the best of Yunani people's understanding, apart from these uh, 10, three more simple organs are there. And the uh, compound organs are the organs which are formed as a mat, as a inculcation of the, as a cluster of one or two uh, simple organs. If you look at this, uh, in Yunani, we believe that Azai Murakkab, the best compound organs in the human bodies are called as Azai Raisa, which is also can be considered termed as vital organs. There are four vital organs, primarily for the survival of the species and the genera, we need to have heart, this, that is the kal, dimah and jigar. This is called as the heart, uh, brain and liver. These are the three things are important for the survival of all the human beings. If you wanted to go for the survival of the generation of species, uh, this is Bakhay Nasl ke liye, we need to have another vital organ that is the Azai Tanasulia or the genital organs. So, Yunani believe that there are four different vital organs and their functions are going to regulate the survival of the human body as well as the survival of the different species of the genera. The fifth Muratama is the Arvah, Ru. Basically, the Ru can be considered as a pneuma. Uh, in fact, some people are also interpreting like the spirit. Spirit may be a different, but uh, a Ru is something like, this is the one which what we inhale into the body, from which as, as a mechanism, as a process of uh, what is called as the metabolism, it transfers from lungs to the circulatory system and it reaches to different part of the body where it can carry no nutrition and some of the vital energy to the different parts of the body. So, Ru, we have different kinds of Ru, like a Ru Hewani, Ru Tabayi, Ru Nafsani. Nafsani will take care of all the psychic functions. Tabayi for this cardiac and Hewani is for uh, cardiac and the hepatic functions as all this carry. The Hua is something like the powers or the functionings are there. According to Yunani, there are four different Hua's are there. Powers we have like Khuwat uh, Nafsaniya, which deals with the psychiat psychiatric power and Khuwat Havaniya, this is for this cardiac and this is uh, what is called as the hepatic and finally the fourth one is related to the reproductive uh, powers of that. All these faculties and powers, they perform different functions and these functions is called as the afal, afal stand for the functioning. Likewise, the, the vital organs are there, the major three functions of heart, liver, and the brain will be carried out by different functions. And uh, apart from these uh, three major functions, there are sub-categories of functions that are also there. As a whole, these seven Umure Tabaya will take control of the human body with the help of Tabiat or the physics that makes the body to be in a normal position as a totality to control physical functions of the human body. If anything deranged in any one of these seven, Ultimately, the body's immunity or the medicatrix nature or the tabiat physis will be disturbed. As a result, the disease will manifest. As I said, in the fundamentals of the Yunani medicine, the second most important part uh, beyond the Umura Taba is the Azbab Sitta Zaruriya. Basically, this is an Arabic term. Azbab stands for causes. Sitta stands for the numerical value 6. Zaruriya means essential. For the survival of any human being or the living beings, uh, we need to have all these six essential prerequisites are there, without which nobody can survive. All living beings need to have all these things. For example, uh, Hawa, that is the ambient air, the air where, where we are living. It is essential, without which nobody can survive. Makula mushroom means the eatables and the drinkables, like food and water. Uh, anything which is in the, uh, which is uh, consumed in the form of a dry or liquid, all those things which comes under the part of the makula mushroom. Similarly, uh, the third important sub uh, essential cause is the harkat sukun badi. This stands for bodily movement and reposes are there because every person should have some minimal body movement and accordingly there is some minimal rest is required for the body. If it is not going to be happen, the people may likely to develop. Uh, some abnormalities. Likewise, there is a harkat of sukkun nafsani also. Yunani uh, science paid much attention to not only to the body repose and re action, but at the same time, 
Yunani also believes about the harkat of sukun nafsani. I mean, how much of uh, what is called as the work to be given to the psychic faculty and how much rest is mandatory essential. If it is not, the equilibrium is not maintained, then it can also lead to the number of multiple cause diseases are there. Like, there must be balance of normal exam. It means sleep and wakefulness is also very important. Uh, we have a very standard prescribed what is the, the sleep and wakeful qualities and the duration according to ages of the individuals there. And the most important part of Dasma Bishitta Zorri is this, Etebaz Ustefrah, which stands for Retention and eliminate elimination and uh, retention and elimination, evacuation and elimination are the thing. Where what are the things which are needed to be retained into the body that are essential to provide energy to the body are the part it becomes part of the body. The thing which are required are to be retained as called as the ethabas, and the thing which is not required to the body to be eliminated from the body is called as istefra or elimination. So the second most important fundamental part of the Yunani medicine is the importance of Asbab Sitta Zaruriya to maintain the normal health of the individual when the health the individual's health are right or to prevent the disease. Sometimes what happens if the person infected with any disease, these Asbab Sitta Zaruriya will help them to eradicate, to control uh, the relative diseases. And third most important part according to the fundamental principle of Yunani system of medicine is the Tabiyat. I said Tabiyat, this is a classical concept of Mercatrix Naturae uh, and Greek physicians believe that there is this one nature, that one is physicist there, the innate capacity of the individual. We call it as in Yunani, Huwate Mudabbire Badan. Huwat is a, some force, factor, Mudabbir means which causes controlling, which neutralizes according to the requirement. And Badan is the body. Bodily Mudabbire Huwat, there is one force which, uh, which controls all the powers. If you look at this functional part of this tabiyat, this is the supreme power of the body which controls all the physiological functions of the body and also it provides resistance against the disease. That is, it helps in prevention of the disease. In fact, Umure Tabaya together helping this tabiyat to keep the body uh, in a healthy state. So these are the three major components of the fundamentals of Yunani medicine. Be beyond that, we have every segment of this fundamental, we have subcategorizations of there. If you look at the concept of health and disease in Yunani medicine, because fundamentals are very vast, uh, I just wanted to put very uh, glimpses of this. Uh, let me try to uh, place before you what Yunani people believe with reference to health and how the diseases are. Uh, in fact, according to the Jalinos, the Galan and other Yunani physician, according to Yunani, based upon this perception, the human body is of three in a different states. The states of human bodies are three. One is, it's a purely in a health state or sometimes it could be in a disease state. That is the person suffering from diseases. Beyond these two, there is another state called as the Halate Thalasa. That is the tertiary state at the third state where neither the person or the individual is a purely in a health state nor in a disease. I'll try to explain you this particular condition. We know that. Alhamdulillah, by the grace of Almighty, we are all healthy. But at the same time, we are looking at the people in the hospital who have been admitted for treating the disease there. Disease 1. Look at the population who are geriatric one, old age people, are the children. If you ask them, they said that, uh, of course, my health is equally good. Sometimes we are, I am not good. So the geriatric population and the health state of the geriatric population is considered to be neither health nor disease. Uh, maybe like children's pediatrics also. Their state condition is also, this is what some Yunani physician believe that human body, the state of human body are either it could be in a healthy state, disease state or there is a third state which stands for neither too healthy nor disease. Uh, likewise, the, the cause of health and disease is absolutely depend upon the equilibrium of the akhlaq. Here the word equilibrium, why I am using is this equilibrium stand for a qualitative and the quantitative consideration is there. If all the body fluids, humors, akhla, that is dumb balgam safra soda, if they are qualitatively mean with their qualitative attribute like hot, cold, moist and wet, if they are good and by the same time the quantitative also, what is the quantity of this humor to be there in the body, if they are in a normal way, then only the health will be exist. If any qualitative and quantitative disequilibrium happens within the Akhlaat, 
the humors it can lead to the manifestation of the disease so i hope that we uh, can able to uh, find the right meaning the state of health and the disease is totally depends upon the equilibrium with reference to the qualitative and the quantitative balance of the four body fluids along with the other umrita bhaiya uh, as far as this uh, prevention of the disease is concerned i already explained about the role and importance of asbab e sitta darwiya that is six pre uh, essential factors are the pre requisites are there where we have come across about the ambient air eatables and the drinks and the body movement and the repose psychic movement and the repose and finally the sleep and wakefulness and ethavas retention and elimination all six there should be balance otherwise we need to go for a modulation into this as a whole if you look at this unani unani medicine deals with treating the diseases if the person is suffering if the person is likely to develop the disease for them we have the clear concept of the prevention of disease under the chapter of hibzan as health hibzan mean prevention or protecting from the disease said as a whole if you look at this unani medicine deals with overall development of the individual physical mental and social well being so this is what the concept of health and disease in unani medicine which speaks about overall development of the individuals physical mental and social well being let me take you to the disease part what unani system believe that we have come out of the classification of the disease basically the unani follow different methods of classification are there the raw method of unani classification beyond that like uh, genetic diseases degenerative change diseases some the convention says how they categorize infectious diseases but we have our own classification of the disease like there are diseases which are of simple in nature called we call as a marz mufarrad marz stand for disease mufarrad is simple diseases where only one dif- one particular entity will be there one dif- one particular organ will affected in contrast to this there are other group of diseases are there called as marz murakkab mean compound diseases are there it is an amalgamation of one or more kind of simple diseases will be there we have so many diseases are there either which comes under the category of mufarrad or murakkab Uh, by the same time, another classification of disease according to Yunani is that there some diseases are amrazi khalaki mean they are congenital, they are came from the neonatal, they from since birth. But most of the diseases are even acquired also somehow ikhtesabi they have been acquired. Based upon the sabab the cause, uh, the diseases are categorized into there is a sui mizaj. As I said in the fundamental principle, arkan. elements mizaj temperament akhlaq these are the three basic substances which is going to regulate the human body's functionality and the dysfunction uh, as we know that there are four simple qualities are there hot uh, dry moist and wet and the, all these elements all these humors they have the compound temperaments are there hot and dry hot and moist cold and dry cold and moist if anything goes wrong with this temperament of either the fluids that's akhlaq or the elements that can leads to this temperament we call it as a sui mizaj and this sui mizaj could be a sada simple mean where only one of the quality either there will be increasing in the hotness or there will be increase in the coldness there will be increase in the moistness or there will be increasing in the dryness will be there if any diseases which are represented with this only one quality one or the single quality abnormal such a disease are categorized as sui mizaj sada if it is a amalgamation of two different qualities like hot and cold hot and dry hot and wet a cold and dry such considered as a compound ones likewise we have eight maddi stand for there is a involvement of the substance this substance could be later what the people have find out any microorganism but according to unani this maddi stand for the matter substance the substance is one of the wood red akhlaq humors are there like what we believe vata pitta or kapha is there uh, we believe in unani either it could be a damavi balgavi safravi saudavi rihi or mai maddi so any matter is involved at the at the such a matter's temperament bizarre is deranged as a result some disease will manifest so one category of the diseases are based upon the distemperament that is a change in the bizarre either it could be a simple or compound and it could be involvement of the matter uh, another category based upon the causes of the disease classification is sui tarkib there are certain structural malformations are there for example a child is born with there is a defective shape will be there like hydrocephalus 
and with that dimension something what happened no uh, some body parts are either it could be atrophied or sometimes it could be a hypertrophied the dimensions are changed sometimes what happened no there is a suya tarki ba adad number will be decreased like some people will born with uh, more than 10 fingers either in the upper hand the lower hand some people have uh, some digits also there any increase or decrease in the number of the organs of the part will considered under the category of a suya tarki some organs are there which are displaced in this normal position deviated or alignment issues are there such are such diseases or categories under the uh, category of suya tarki ba vajza that is position the third category based upon the cause is tafarruq e ittisal mein loss of continuity this could be uh, as a result of mechanical injury or as a sequelae of the body phenomenon also there are different, different things will be happen the best example of a tafarruq e ittisal loss of continuity can we say mars burak ko bil the inflammation warm wounds laceration injuries etc etc this is one way of understanding the classification of different diseases in our medicine let me take you to the diagnostic methods because uh, we have come across the fundamentals we have come across the cause of the disease and how to maintain the health and uh, we also know about the disease different disease categories are also there is a cause and relationship of the disease then how to diagnose the diseases classically unani people used to follow the general examination procedure like observation auscultation palpation percussion also then uh, overall looking the patient starting from the head up to the toe uh, followed by the specific examination which are very particular to unani system of medicine is the examination of the nubs that is pulse examination uh, moyna bowl that is urine examination moyna barrage that is your feces and the stool examination these are the three major methods of examination of course unani physician they are authorities in the nadi pariksha uh, but now the art of nadi pariksha is uh, almost uh, say this is negligible very few people are know the art of diagnosing through the nadi vyavastha but still we are trying to follow this uh, urine examination to, to to find out the procedure of the, the disease and the effect of the drug with the intervention and use of the drugs of conction and the conations but you uh, feces also will be taken care for understanding diagnosis we have specific indications of the markers of all these parameters and beyond this i said for systemic examination like conventional size people we too follow inspection palpation percussion and auscultation and today to validate the classical diagnostic method with the conventional size today we rely on laboratory investigations of the conventional size that is uh, i can say biochemistry and the pathological it include microbiological uh, examinations also right uh let me come to the part of the treatment uh, before i take you to what are the treat methods we have some principle we follow before we take into the uh, starting the treatment you know i believe that uh, the treatment part is totally holistic approach here we take the human being as a individual complete entity instead of focusing on the symptom what the patient is going to uh, present before the uh, what is the physician uh, i mean to say the conventional science concept of reductionism is quite opposite with the concept of holism like we take complete human body into consideration where treatment will be focus upon the individuals bizaj and the predominance of the madda and the sada whatever the etiological factor and keeping the mental and the physical condition along with the environmental factors of the individual this uh, holistic treatment will be provided and uh, the most important point is unani system of medicine follows the ilaj which is mean the principles of contradiction mean suppose if a person is suffering with the disease of cold temperament cold visage and uh, the qualitatively the quality quantity is high so we follow the contradiction principle of opposition will be there if the quality is hard such a condition will be treated keeping the patient's temperament into consideration the drugs which are contradictory like If it is a heart, we will try to treat cases with cold drugs. Similarly, if the quantity is high, that will be tried to minimize with the quantitative consideration. So the principle of contradiction is applicable in all the treatment modalities that I'll explain you later. And third principle is, before taking the treatment into as a whole, we will try to elucidate the cause that is alleged above, removing of the cause appropriately. For that, the 
exact treatment procedure is mentioned like tanhiya uh, probably ayurvedic people they follow the procedure of shodhana it seems to be I, 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 to the best of my memory uh, that where we will try to eliminate the morbid matter what matter is predominantly happening present accordingly by selecting some of the specific drugs keeping the patient temperament mesage into consideration and the this is will go for the giving of the drug of the conction based upon the dosha khilt uh, we have a specific duration of giving of the treatment for tanthiya followed by there is a conation is also conction and conation where uh, keeping the person health condition and the matter of elimination into consideration if it is required we will try to normalize the mesage of the individual giving appropriate therapy keeping into the consideration of the whole body condition of the patient followed by sometime if it is required takhviyat mein tonics will be given or any pain management things are there so like all such as appropriate drugs will be given these are the principles what we apply in the treatment uh, while giving to the patient if it uh, literally try to find out what are the methods unani system of uh, people follow for the treatment we have four very wonderful uh, globally accepted treatment methods are there that is ilaj bil dawa dawa stand for drug pharmacotherapy where primarily will focus on single drug management if it is not will uh, super added with the compound drugs the part of this dawa will comes if we talk about the dawa we have 90% of the drugs what we use are from the nature the herbal one uh, to the extent animal and the mineral source of the drugs we will use any drug which is used for the purpose of a treatment will become under the category of ilaj bil dawa and these drugs will uh, work according to the principles of unani what we have it is a separate uh, description because of the time is not permitting me to enlight on all these things first primarily will take dawa and ilaj bil ghiza uh, sometimes keeping the person and the disease condition will try to put some emphasis on the importance of the dietetics also here i said in unani we follow the principle of contradiction mean usul bi zid usul is mean principle bi zid mean opposite in principle of dietetics we follow two uh, while giving the dietetics we follow two principles are there suppose if a person is suffering with a cold temperamental condition disease almost the diets will be prescribed the diet either it could be what is called as a food eatables or drinkable substances like kashaya joshanda sharbat majun uh, emphasis will be try to pay the drugs which is made of the contradictory to the condition and by the same time quantitative consideration also will be taken into care i'll just put one example according to unani this obesity is considered as seminiferous and this is one of the diseases of uh, what is called as the bulgami there is a cold temperament where we need to treat the patient with the drugs which are of hot temperament qualitatively and by the by the principles of treatment of dietetics we also apply the quantitative principles of dietetics where the patient will be suggested the four principles like total complete cessation of the drug diet or abstinence from the diet reducing the diet or increasing the diet as per the requirement of the patient uh, two principles will be applicable while administrating the drug there is a qualitative and the quantitative if the patient of tuberculosis is there drugs along with the diet which are have of high nutritious value and more quantity will be recommended ilaj bil tadbir uh, this is one of the very uh, attractive as uh, sir uh, suhas kumar sir was also talking about the cupping of course we have very wonderful regimens like some 100 more than 100 regimens we have they are giving very promising results i'll put some enlightening on this uh, based upon primarily will try to cure the try to uh, treat the patient with the drugs if drug and diets are not going to do then we'll take the help of regimens also that is regimens means the tadabir is also list of tadabirs are there whichever is required that will be administered and the most advantageous part of our unani sense of medicine we have ilaj bil yed that is a manipulative therapy of the surgical para surgical procedures uh, in the beginning i said about that i have mentioned there is a description about abu al khasim zohrawi who is the 11th century physician he is the man supposed to be the modern science of people modern surgeons also believe that he is the one who laid down the modern surgical procedure because 
from the text what we learned he is the one who developed around 200 surgical devices according to the requirement and his work kitab tasrif is still were used throughout the western part of the countries up to 17th century so yunani also pay attention to the treatment of surgical procedures also uh, as i said ilaj bi dawa we use herbs either it could be a single or compound we have different combinations nearly some 30 30 plus pharmacopias are there apart from non pharmacopoeic preparation some animal drugs are also there mineral drugs are also be used as a treatment if you look at the drugs different dosage forms are there probably we are the people who provide more what is called the sugar and honey based preparations to the suffering humanity bitter medicine in a sweet form so that the people will give, uh, get much benefit by taking this medication so if you look at the dosage form there are so many drugs which are uh, in the solid form like a powders tablet pills tablets are there different uh, dosage forms we have liquids like joshanda hisanda sharbat hutur semi solid like what ayurvedic people is supposed to be having chavantrasha leha sardhen we have different versions of semi solids are there like marjun jawarish kanira lahu uh, topical creams like rohan oil tila zimat liquids etc and by the base by the same time we have some evaporative bukhari is also there uh, like gases substance like laklaka bukhur so like uh, the different states of a medicine we have four different kind of administration dosage of drugs are also there the second ilaj the, the part of treatment method what i have already mentioned was this ilaj e tadbir the most nowadays the people are very passionate to get the benefits of hijama uh, maybe if i get any time i will put a light we will focus more about the beneficial effects of the hijama irsale alakh like this is a leaching therapy we follow pashoya uh, foot bath amlai cauterization dutul probably you to have this uh, dhara uh, dalak hamam i think this is the one what we have very advantages under the regimental therapy is a hamam uh, uh, the, as i said ilaj bil the surgery surgery i said abul khasam zohra is the authority who developed different surgical equipments and we do follow different surgical procedures also and these are some of the devices abul khasim developed abul khasim zohra we developed and he depicted in his uh, classical surgical books also and uh, i would like to bring some of the important books to the august audience is al khanun fitim was uh, the work of avicenna uh, i hope some of the unani uh, ayurvedic fraternity people might be knowing about avicenna his contribution because al khanun uh, is one of the major book of uh, choice of the uh, studies for the european medical universities up to 17th century and uh, like there are different kamil sanat kitab ut tasaddi is a surgical book and uh, i am very happy to place before all of you razi is the one who is given a very clear description about the treatise on the smallpox and the measles uh, and the treatment also kitab ul adwiya and this is the one uh, during the 70th ad and up to 12th century nearly some 2000 different herbs and their indications have been mentioned in this book by antaki coming to the very conclusion part of my discussion probably my time is also over uniqueness of the unani medicine this is my understanding uh, otherwise you people have to uh, tell us because uh, you people have the very vast majority of ayurvedic practices and uh, as uh, dr ashok was uh, telling about that recently they come across with this uh, siddha medicine and their uh, uniqueness uh, i believe that you might have come across of the homeopathy also uh, i tried to put something from my end uh, this is my own perception the uniqueness of unani medicine maybe some of the thing they are overlapping it seems to be Uh, you people can best judge it and tell me uh, the most important point what i believe is uh, the uniqueness of unani system of medicine is the fundamentals of unani medicine particularly it based upon the greek philosophy i don't think so today there is no country or there is no particular science where still this greek philosophy is being used and this greek philosophy with reference to the fundamentals of sciences it depends upon four elements four body fluids and four what is called as the temperaments are there uh, the other sciences we have a difference so the, it makes a uniqueness of unani medicine as i said the unani system of medicine take the patient while providing the treatment as in a holistic approach i said that without treating uh, we, as a unani practitioner you won't treat the symptom we treat complete cause etiology and entire thing into consideration keeping 
the physical mental aspect of the individual and keeping equal importance to the environment factors of the patient with what is called as a tailored or specifically designed treatment to the individual and this personalized treatment is also something uh, where because every individual is having different temperament the visage no two individuals are alike so the diseases are also different though the diseases may be one but drugs are work in different uh, visage wise so the treatment what unani people will provide will be a personalized treatment and the treatment could be of a drug diet sometimes it could be a regimen also so personalized treatment where i can say uh, very tailored treatment will be given uh, the uniqueness of unani system of medicine is different regimens are there which comes under the part of what is called as ilaj bi tadbir here the first one is the hijama it is one of the bloodletting procedure today i think globally people are very apprehended to go for bloodletting procedure but globally bloodletting procedures are being practiced by unani people and uh, most of you people are also getting benefit you people are also referring for this bloodletting procedure hijama uh, this is uh, conventionally say wet cupping and uh, there is a renaissance of use of this irsal al khaliching therapy after this plastic surgery and this reconstruction therapy has been started uh, we are in the use since the big time and uh, there is a vena section or we call it as a phlebotomy because unani is the one which also promote vena section as well as arteriotomy that's a why that is the reason i'm using the word phlebotomy where some experts also give puncture to the arteries if it is required though this is not in practice but the most common puncturing of vein is there vena section is there uh, i think this is the uniqueness of unani system of medicine where the people are more uh, attracted to take the treatment people come forward to receive the treatment in india what is happening yeah and this is hamam is one of the part of regimental therapy i believe because if you look at this indian difference uh, uh, indian medical system sciences and globally uh, we have a very elaborate description indication uses and contraindications of hamam and people prefer to take this hamam and i to best to the best of my understanding i believe that there is a separate branch branch of medical science is emerged as a belinology where medical hamams are been recommended that what we have and the, uh, there is the uniqueness of unani medicine which is what we have and the, it is my belief that most of the classical concept of unani were scientifically validated some of them have been taken over by the conventional science of the people and they are going to prove scientifically and the, and the, this is my submission this is the only science there is no such a management of the spirituality like other medical sciences of india is there unani system of medicine there is no such a description of spirituality it's only talk about mental and physical illnesses and there is a separate a parallel science of medicine is there that comes under the category of uh, prophetic medicine but if you look at this unani practice no unani practitioner no literature is talk about the spirituality but while practicing while giving the treatment spiritual health is also being paid importance with the consideration of the prophetic medicine of the people who are expert into this one finally though this uh, unani system of medicine is not a native to india like other system of course it came into india somewhere seventh and eighth century but now it's still the people are using by millions of the people are using in india so this is the what uh, uniqueness of this unani system of medicine for the last several years now it is taking a patronage of the ruler as well as the people and now people are consistently getting benefit and also giving good feedback uh, now this is your time to ask anything about to get clarified thank you on my email id and sometime if they can go for one of my youtube channels also there probably this video is also going to be uploaded there and i have the already discussed topics are there ask them feel free if you have any query let them contact i am available here for any thing from my end to promote 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 the this unani system of medicine and to go for integration of unani system of medicine with other indian system of medicines